Bourneville, Bourneville, a lovely suburb of Birmingham, which was built by the great chocolatier Sir Thomas Cadbury in 1871. But what makes a village? It's people, of course. But what is at the heart of a village? A rugby club, naturally. Let's go and meet some of the characters of Bourneville RFC. I'm so excited. I think I've proved my pants. Alistair is at home watching his favourite sci-fi programme. Sci-fi movies are based on true stories, did you know? Written by people who travel back in time. It's true, I tell you. It's true! Oh, Mr Alistair! Bing Bong wants to watch TV now, Mr Alistair. Bing Bong, I'm watching Star Trek Voyager. It's my favourite programme. What are you doing? But Mr Alistair, Bing Bong doesn't like Star Trek Voyager. This is another example of why we are not compatible, Bing Bong. I'm sorry, Bing Bong, it's just not working. Oh, I'm... but Mr Alistair, Mr Alistair, you like home. what you see, you like what you see, Mr Alistair, you like what you see, Mr Alistair, no? Bing Bong, I'm sorry. You've got to go home, I'm sorry, it just, it's not working. But Mr Alistair, who do all your cooking now? I cook myself. But Mr Alistair, I do all the housework for you, all the time. Well, I suppose you could stay for one more night. Bourneville RFC Vice Captain and Playboy Steve Rice visits old friend Richard D'Souza. You may remember Richard. He was a famous actor once. He did two episodes of Doctors, one of Casualty, and Panto for three seasons at Redditch Community Centre alongside Callan and Ball. What a fine actor. Nan, how are you doing? You all right? Yes, thanks. I'm fine. Nan, this is Steve. Hello, Steve. Steve, this is my nan. Hello. So, Nan, would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. I'd love one. Okie dokie. Steve, do you want a cup of tea, mate? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, Richard never told me he had a sister. <laughs> do you want some sugar with your tea, Steve? Yeah, whatever. I love the smell of your perfume. Well, actually, it's Vic. I've had a bit of a chesty cough lately. <coughs> so tell me, why don't I see you down at Bournemouth Rugby Club? I like to play bingo. To tell you the truth, my feet have been crippling me lately. Your feet, you say? Mm. Please, remove your shoes. Allow me. So, how does this feel for you? Do you like it? Oh, that's lovely, Steve. I've never had anyone massage my feet before. Guys, I've got you to... Steve! What are you doing? That's my nan! Uh, uh, no, nothing. Steve, I think you better just leave my house. I think I better go. See you soon. Club chairman Dave Bomer and his carer, Anthony McNally, are very excited about seeing their team of champions, BRFC, play arch rivals Kings Norton and kickoff is only 30 minutes away. Gosh, Kings Norton are a right bunch of tossers. Right then, David, I'm gonna go and get you your ice cream while the players are warming up so you can eat it during the game. Is that all right? Right, okay then. But I'm a bit scared about leaving you by yourself, so I'm gonna go and ask that nice man over there if he can look after you. Excuse me, sir. My friend David, he's a little bit disabled and, you know, I'm a bit scared that it's a bit muddy here and he, he, he might fall over in the mud, right? And I'm a bit scared, so I was wondering, while I go and get his ice cream, 
if you could look out for him, is that okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. I'm just going to go and tell him that you're going to keep an eye out for him, okay? okay? Yep, yeah, thanks. David, that very kind man over there said that he's going to... David, you... you're covered in mud. What happened? <laughs> Hello? Right. Homosexual rugby player Alistair Thomas has been playing around at Bourneville for three months now. He hasn't managed to get a game yet, but you'll always find him first in the showers, at the end of the match, playing with his soap on a rope. The Pope has a soap on a rope, shaped like a cardinal's helmet. Hello, my way. Hello, Alistair. I'd like Bacardi and Coke, please, my fan way. Oh, my fan way. It's so difficult being the only gay at the rugby club. I'll never find a boyfriend. The only gay in the rugby club? Don't be so daft. There's what? loads of gays here. I don't believe it. Like who? Well, what about Auntie McNally, for starters? PC McNally? He's a homophobe. Hasn't spoken to me since I joined the club. He's always got red boys in the back of his van. Oh, I don't believe it. Anybody else? Well, Marcus Tomlinson. Marcus Tomlinson? Front row forwards and bodybuilder? He's a gay? Loves a bit of bum fun. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. There can't be anybody else, my fine way. Dave Finney loves sucking cock. Dave Finney? Ex-army soldier? Biggest day of the club? A gay? I don't believe that at all, my fine way. How about his friend Alex? He's very pretty and good looking. Is he a gay? Don't be so daft. Alex is straight as they come. Oh. Oh, my fine way. I can't believe it's all. I can't believe it. Oh, Jeff, Jeff, come here, please. Jeff, you won't believe it. I've just found out that there's gays at Bourneville Rugby Club besides myself. Because I thought I was the only gay at Bourneville RFC. I bet it was like this in your time, Jeff. Well, actually, Alistair, I've got to admit, there was a few lads at the time that betted for the other side. No! Yeah. Thinking back now, George Foley, Pete Caves. George Foley and Pete Caves? Oh, yeah, yeah. They were an item for years. No, I don't believe it. That's true. And then the Cullity Brothers, they were often found down in Bourneville Park Cottage. The Cullity Brothers? They're gays? Oh, my God, Jeff. I hope when you were captain, you put a stop to all that sort of uh, philandering. Well, actually, Alistair, I've got to admit, I'm gay myself. You, Jeff Bailey, a gay? I don't believe it. I'm afraid it's true. And if you don't believe me, you best ask my boyfriend. Darling, 